Hello, this is Veta121, and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on some Earth Colossuses, or Colossi, or something like that. Yep. Should be good to go. Wow. Yeah, I, I had to take my finger off the controller there for a second. That's why I screwed it up. Hmm. Yeah, let me try this. Yeah, that's fine. Regular physical attacks don't seem to be that effective against these guys. Ow. Ow. Yeah, that sucks. That's okay. Don't kill Jansen. Thank you. Yeah, those guys hit pretty hard. There's a number of things we can do down here. Namely, go over here and get attacked again? Come on. Anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah. Exploring this area. Um, yeah, I know there's an item I did miss on the upper part there, but yeah, I'll get it eventually. Just want to make sure I don't miss any items in this area. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna roll a ball here. Yeah. And it's pretty obvious what we have to do with it, too. Actually, I might as well go back up, as long as we're down here. And yeah, over here we can kick this thing. Get a crystal fragment. Well, anyways, yeah, let's, uh... Let's explore more on this floor a little bit. And yeah, get some more items. Before we start messing around with that freaking rock thing, whatever it is. Loading. Thank you. Okay, we are in the dungeon shrine, which, uh... Oh. Oh, something just closed. What the heck was that? That door just closed by itself. Is this some kind of spirit magic stuff? Probably. But on second thought, yeah, we're not supposed to go this way yet. Because, yeah, we want to go this way to explore more of this area. Because that's more useful. Alright, anyways. Uh, yeah, let's get the ball rolling here, so to speak. 
Uh, yeah. It's kind of tricky to push this thing and steer it in the right direction because of the camera angles and the way the controls work, but it can be done. Or maybe not. There we go. And that brings that down. Alright, we pick up a tablet fragment. Not sure what that's supposed to do, but whatever. Oh, brings us back up here again. Well, I think that's all we have to do with that part, so let's go back down. What the hell is going on with the frame rate? Jeez. Alright, let's explore over this direction now. Hopefully my game doesn't, like... <laughs> the way the frame rate keeps dropping like that, it's like it's gonna freeze. Whoa. Yeah! Nice little Indiana Jones booby trap there. Yeah, that's how we're supposed to get past that. And over here, we can get another crystal fragment. And what is this? Oh, okay, we can just push this thing, huh? Let us do that. Isn't that handy? Woohoo, we did it! Alright then, let's hurry on. Yes, let's do that. Um Yeah, let's go down this way now. I believe there's some chests we can get. Okay, we get a Lucky Clover. It's another accessory. And, yeah, there's some few items we can get over here. Crystal Fragments. And another Crystal Fragment. And that's it. Okay, let's head back. And over here we'll find another chest. With the curse spell. Alright, very nice. Yeah, this blue orb restores all your HP and MP. And... Yeah, we can just run past those guys there. To get another slot seed. Hey, alright, very nice. And then, get attacked. Alright, we have some new enemies here. We have a Flame Sphere, and we have a Plant Dragon. And, uh, yeah, this guy is Spirit and Magic type, so yeah, he's basically both. Okay, that thing's in the back row. These two are in front. So, yeah, I just want to equip... Yeah, water's fine. Have him attack that. Yeah, that should be good. Against that. Go ahead and use... Water spell. Actually, I'll just have a chance to cast Force. On the Plant Dragon, and then I'll have Cook help out Kaim on the friggin... 
whatever the hell it is. The flame sphere. Yeah, that'll work. Very useful spell. That sucks. Yeah, it's got a mine now. So yeah, if we physically attack him, uh, well, we'll get hurt with flare because yeah, he's mined essentially. So yeah, I just want to hit this guy with magic, so I'll defend. Shadow. Ooh. That sucks. Takes care of them. Good to go. And let's run past that guy. Get another crystal fragment. And get another chest. Alright, we get Cubic Music Score 2. Very nice. Okay, I took a little pause break to uh, adjust my skills here. And uh, yeah, for this next battle that we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to have Lucky Zero Magic Damage. Uh, yeah, because it's nice to have. It'll occasionally decrease the damage inflicted by magic to zero, which could be handy in a pinch. And I want to have relax and stand ready along with guard heal on my characters. And the other three abilities are, should be, you know, whatever you want. I, I like these three for uh, Kaim there. And for Seth, I have basically the exact same thing, except I gave her steel just in case this boss does have something I want to steal. I hardly doubt it, but it's there just in case. But yeah, the abilities you want are Guard Heal, Relax, and Zucky, Lucky Zero Magic Damage. And Stand Ready for this next boss fight. That's for Kaim and Seth. And, uh, well, for Jansen, I guess. Probably want something other than frickin' Turntail. So yeah, what should I give this guy here? Maybe I'll give him... Yeah, I'll give him that too. Why not? That way he can get Lucky Zero Magic Damage as well. And then for Cook, I want the Apprentice Earrings on her, that way she can use level 2 black magic as well as white magic. So, there you go. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the treasure we can get in this area, I think. Uh, yeah, you can get 18 Crystal Fragments, that's the amount we wanted to get, so there you go. That's as many as we can get in this area, and that's uh, however, that's how much uh, Crystal Fragments we need to trade into that one villager in Numara to get another item but yeah obviously that won't be until the next disc and in the next episode of let's play lost odyssey we will be taking on a boss for the disc one finale this is vet 0121 see you next time